good morning children this is english video session for class 10 we are with to be going to do the fifth chapter in the supplementary reader the name of the topic is footprints without the feet footprints without feet this is the title of the book supplementary reader also it is a very beautiful story and most of you would have seen it in the form of serial or a film in uh, various sources on the tv footprints without feet now there are three questions asked can a man become invisible if you ask us this question can a man it's not possible this is a story of a scientist who discovers how to dis- become invisible does he use or misuse it there are two ways of any scientific tra- uh, invention has got two uses in it one use another misuse it so happened the greed of the human being always chooses the misuse and less of the use okay now let us see how did invisible man become visible why was he wandering in the streets okay now we need to know the story let's see The two boys started in the surprise at a fresh muddy imprints in the pair of barefoot bare feet. What was the barefoot man, fitted man doing on the streets of a house in the middle of London? And where was the man? Here are the two children they are finding footprints of barefoot. Usually in a cold country like that to be in a barefoot is impossible. but they are able to see the imprints imprints when you step on a muddy thing you will have an imprint imprint the uh, you can see the impression imprint is impression okay now what is that how did they come but there is no sign of any human being there so the children became curious okay and that in the middle of london where was the man they did not find the man as they gazed a remarkable sight met their eyes fresh fruit prints of bread from rover so they were searching for the man they uh, there and there suddenly another two sets of another set of footprints appear and nowhere nowhere here means there is no human being to make the imprints but it appears okay that is why an exclamation mark is given further footprints followed one after the another descending the steps or and progressing down the streets so these footprints are going they are moving towards the main street but footprints are going the children are chasing the footprints but there is no human being who is walking there is nothing visible but footprints of the human being is found further footprints followed one after the another descending the steps and progressing down the street the boys followed fascinated until the muddy impressions became fainter and fainter and at last disappeared altogether the explanation of the mystery was really simple enough the bewildered boys had been following a scientist who had just discovered how to make human beings tra- transparent now children i need to explain you what are the terms transparent mean let me give you an example for transparent air water glass let us take these things what happens when light falls on them what they enter the light enters glass air and water this is called transparent okay what is the meaning of translucent translucent is partially it will not go some lights pass through like plastic you can see from here from the plastic medium you can see but not so clear that is translucent frosted glass you can see but it cannot be very clear so transparent translucent these are all the terms which usually you get it in your uh, physics terms transparent so he our human be body is not transparent light cannot enter our body okay so he made a invention which made him become transparent that lights fall 
through his body is it clear now you understood what he has done yes the explanation of the mystery was really simple enough the bewildered boys had been had been following the scientists who had just discovered how to make human body transparent so he found out how to make a human body transparent though it is a um, a a billion dollar question it's possible impossible because human beings it's not possible to become invisible okay as far as bones and muscles are concerned the body cannot be become in, uh, transparent but he discovered how to make the human body transparent now let us know about griffin who we are going to learn about griffin g r i f f i n griffin who is griffin griffin is the scientist he had carried out experiments after experiments to prove that human body body could become invisible so he took n number of experiments what was his challenge was to make the human body invisible finally he swallowed what all what the what our medicine he prepared rare drugs what did he prepare rare drugs he swallowed he in in took that medicines and his body became transparent as a sheet of glass how like a sheet of glass though it is also remained as solid as glass if you take air is not solid but it became as solid as glass so glass is solid it's transparent but it is as solid as glass look at the way things has become he has not become like water he has not become an air but his body remained as solid as glass but invisible remember children these are the most important thing you have to understand if he is invisible what is the problem it's not there no no he is he is like a glass solid state glass okay so this you need to understand griffin is a scientist he carried out experiment after experiments to prove that the human body could become invisible finally he swallowed what did he prepare he prepared a drugs he prepared rare drugs and his body became transparent as a sheet of glass okay it became a sheet of glass though it also remained as solid as glass how did he make it it was as solid as glass brilliant scientist though he was griffin was rather a lawless person okay now we have to understand the meaning of the term lawless what is this lawless if you are a law abiding citizen you are a good person you are a good citizen lawless is the one who don't abide the rules and regulations of the country lawless the rules and the law have to be followed only then the society will remain calm it will be peaceful otherwise this society may become havoc it can become dangerous for the lives of many people that is called lawless person he do not abide by the rules and regulations of the law a lawless person do not abide by the rules and regulations of the law his landlord disliked him and tried to eject him throw him away what did his landlord do throw him away because he was doing a number of some some problems were there financially he has not paid the rent he was not uh, uh, having the good uh, the need the house was not maybe various reasons were there the house must house uh, the landlord that is the the head of the house the, the owner of the house is called the landlord the landlord disliked dis- disliked him he did not like his uh, inventions whatever he is doing and he wanted to throw him out and he threw him out of the house eject him in revenge in revenge means what in order to take revenge against his activity griffin set fire to the house so he wanted to take revenge on the f- fellow landlord so what did he do he had, he made the set a blaze to the entire house okay is this right so whether the person likes or not it is the it is the landlords so what should an any person okay either he has to patch up with them or move away to another house convenient to him is it not but what did griffin do griffin burnt the entire house to get away being seen he had to remove his clothes so, so people will see him what to do 
so in order to ask and uh, not knowing but so that he will not be known to people he removed his clothes children this story is extremely amazing kindly go through the entire story and come back tomorrow please read at least three to four times so that you will be able to identify how the words and other scientific things that are explained is that clear thank you children